praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ grace and peace in the mighty name of jesus to you all the viewers of shalom world hallelujah 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 raise up your hands and pray hallelujah 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 oh jesus we praise you oh jesus we adore you we glorify you thank you lord hallelujah 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 hey jesus you're my king hey jesus you're my king your life is me to sing your life is me to sing i will praise you all my day i will praise you all my day perfect in all your way perfect in all your way hey jesus you're my lord hey jesus you're my lord i will obey your word i will obey your word i want to see your kingdom come Not my will but yours be done Not my will but yours be done Glory glory to the land Glory glory to the land You take us to the land You take us to the land We will conquer in your name We will conquer in your name I proclaim the Jesus reign I proclaim the Jesus reign Hail hail the light of Judah Hail hail the light of Judah How wonderful you are Conquering your name, you conquer in your name. I proclaim the Jesus reign. I proclaim the Jesus reign. Hey Jesus, you're my Lord. Hey Jesus, you're my Lord. You are my savior. You are my savior. Hey Jesus, you're my Lord. Hey Jesus, you're my Lord. You are my healer. You are my healer. You are my healer. You are my healer. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus 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 Jesus
Lord Jesus. Have mercy on all those who don't have the the faith enough to pray up to you. All those who are suffering in your in their spiritual life. All those those all those who can't pray. Bless with your Holy Spirit. Anoint them with your mighty anointing, O oh Lord. We need your help. Without you, we can't do anything. Lord Jesus, we bring all the children before you. Bless them with wisdom. Bless them with passion. Bless them with devotion. Bless them with the gift of faith. Bless them with the gift of Holy Spirit. Let them experience the joy of the spiritual life. Heavenly Father, help all of us to experience your love more and more. we surrender we submit all our prayers through christ our lord amen praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah today we are going to think about psalms chapter 82 verse 6 in some bible versions it may be 82 verse 7 in some bible versions it is psalms 82 verse 6 let us hear from the word you are god's children of the most high all of you hallelujah hallelujah so i tell you you are the children of most high you are the children of our beloved God. The subject today we deal with is feel proud of our God. Hallelujah. 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 Sometime you may be wondering why the name Khan came with this father. As all of you know, my name is Father Savior Khan. Some asked me, Father, are you a Muslim? I am not a Muslim. My parents are also not the Muslims. We are Catholics. I am a Catholic priest. My family is a Catholic family. Then how this name Khan came with my name? Dear brothers and sisters, Khan is a Urdu name, an Urdu word. It means the emperor of emperors. Now you may be wondering, you may be smiling at me, is this father emperor of emperors? Dear friends, when I was studying theology and philosophy, I was very much interested with this name and I took this word with my name Khan because our father is all powerful our heavenly father is the emperor of emperors and we are his children when I was doing my college studies every now and then I used to say I am the prince in my father's kingdom. My father is a great emperor and I am the prince in my father's kingdom. It always gave me a positive energy. My father is a great emperor and I am the prince in my father's kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 Later on, I came to read Psalms 82 verse 6. Once more, let us hear that word from the Bible. 
Psalms 82, verse 6. In some versions, it is 82, verse 7. You are God's children. Yes, I tell you, you are God's children. Didn't I tell you that you are God's children? Then. Of the most high. Of the most high. You are the God's children of the most high. We have to deliberately, we have to aware of this fact. We are not a simple creature. We are not a, we are not a worm in the earth. We are the children of the Most High. So, whatever is the possession of our Father is ours too. So we don't be worried. We won't be. Uh, we won't be tense about our life. Everything is there. Whatever you want, you can straightly go to the Father, and you can take from Him, and you can live. In a peaceful way. Do you believe that? I know. Most of us don't believe this fact. Even though. This is a Bible truth. Many of us are not aware of this fact. So. On this earth. We are just like buggers. Father will you give me? Father will you bless me? Father will you. If, if you will give me. Just like beggars, we are, we are sons of God. We are daughters of God. And our father is a great emperor. And we are the prince in our father's kingdom. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 If we are aware of this fact, it will change our life in a tremendous way. See, if, if our father is a rich father, we can take from his richness and we can give to others. That is what happening in my priestly life. When people are uh, suffering, I will just go to my father and I will ask my father, Father, that family doesn't have child, children. Give ten children to them. Or five children. Father, they don't have a job. Give them a, a good job with a good salary. Father, they, these boys, these students can't study. Give them a bright future them, future for them. Then they get it. That is my experience for past 20 years. Can you believe that? It is my experience. Last 20 years, my father was like this to me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, there God is, uh, our father expresses what he wants to do with Moses. He chose Moses and he appointed Moses as the leader of the people. Then he, the heavenly father wants to send Moses to the Pharaoh. And when God confronted him, God said to Moses, what he desires to do with Moses. Let us hear from Exodus chapter 7 verse 1. Yeah. The Lord said to Moses, See, I have made you like God to Pharaoh. That was the innermost desire of God about Moses. Not only about Moses, about us all, God has a high, high, high plan about us. God wanted to make Moses like God to Pharaoh. In Exodus chapter 4 verse 16, there God was telling to Moses that he wants to make Moses as God. Uh, like God to Aaron also. Aaron was his co-worker. Aaron was uh, the mouthpiece of Moses. God chose Aaron to speak on behalf of Moses. And God won a relationship between Moses and Aaron. God saying to Moses that I will make you like God to Aaron. 
let us hear that word from exodus chapter 4 verse 16 and you shall serve as god for him Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear friends in Christ, it is a Bible truth. God wants to make us like God. We are the children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chronicles second Chronicles chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. There we see a picture of a child of god his name is solomon what does solomon do there chapter 1 verse 1 to 3 solomon son of david established himself in his kingdom the lord his god was with him and made him exceedingly great solomon was son of david he was not a simple an ordinary man he has money he has power he has uh, health everything everything every blessing is there with him moreover god was very pleased with him and god was with him god was with him it is said like this god made him exceedingly great then what was the what was the way of life of solomon many of us if we are made like this exceedingly rich exceedingly powerful exceedingly great then what we will do we will do we will simply abandon our prayer life because we may not get time to pray we will be busy going here or there everything will be we will be busy with everything we may not get time to pray we may not get time to sit with our god we may not get time to talk with our god what does solomon do that's a second chronicles chapter 1 verse 6 Solomon went there to the bronze altar before the Lord which was at the tent of meeting and offered a thousand burnt offerings a thousand burnt offerings before the Lord at the bronze altar he went with his people and offered thousand burnt offerings before the Lord one burnt offering is enough and more lord he spend more time with his god he was interested to develop the relationship with his father he was happy he was joyful enough to walk with his father he when he straight away he straightly went to the uh, bronze altar and there he offered thousand burnt offerings not only he but with the whole his people he went there and offered them the burnt offerings there that offering pleased his god verse 7 we read like this on the right day on the same day on the same night god appeared to him let us read from the bible verse 7 that night god appeared to solomon and said to him ask what should i give you yes see if we do something pleasing to god he will be god will be pleased and god will be right right right, right there with you he is asking i am pleased with you what shall i do for you what should i do for you what shall i do for you on the same night on the right, same night God appeared and asked Solomon ask me what shall I do for you dear friends don't afraid to ask our god our needs many of us are fearing to ask god our needs material needs spiritual needs we are the children of god we can share anything anything before our father Solomon was in need of something so he immediately he asked God verse 10 there Solomon was doing some if God asks me some of us will say the lord you know me you do whatever you do, want to do uh, like that 
because we are fearing to open our mind before our father but solomon was very free with his god so when god asked him solomon what shall i do for you i am ready to give i am pleased with you ask me i will do for you what 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 do you what shall i do for you what did solomon ask verse 10 give me now wisdom and knowledge to go out and come in before this people for who can rule this great people of yours immediately solomon asked to ask to his god god give me wisdom i need wisdom give me wisdom why solomon asked this wisdom for before his god there is a cause because his father david one day his father david called all the people and said to the people see this is solomon my son he is going to take over the country but you know he lacks experience he is very young he lacks practical knowledge this was there in his mind so when god asked solomon what shall i do for you solomon asked asked god god i need wisdom to rule over this people immediately god said that is what we read chapter 1 verse 12 wisdom and knowledge are granted to you i will also give you riches possessions and honor such as none of the kings who were before you and none after you shall have the like hallelujah 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 immediately our heavenly father blessed the solomon with all what he need all what he asked moreover that he was blessed with immense wealth immense power is it good to ask for our lord is it good to go closer to our god is it good to please our god let us stand and pray let us stand and pray our god is an awesome god our father is a beloved father he is very good to us i like my father i surrender my whole life to this father because he is with me always for last 20 years he was with me and i was with i was walking with him uh, and he always helped me to keep the relationship we we have to proud of our father hallelujah 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 raise your hands and praise our god hallelujah 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 glory 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 oh we love you father oh heavenly father oh heavenly dad we love you we love you father we love you father we love you father hallelujah 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 is an awesome god he reigns from heaven about with some power and love our god is an awesome god our god our god father is an awesome god he reigns father from heaven about with wisdom power and love our god is an awesome god our god is an awesome god our god is an awesome god Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thanks 
beloved jesus oh mighty anointing holy spirit we adore you the presence of holy trinity we adore you now here the presence of father is there jesus told us those who see me sees my father feel proud of your god our heavenly god is our father our god is our father if you call him with a deep love he is there consoling you bring all your tensions oh heavenly father we are weak we are struggling with our burdens we are sick we need your touch we need your peace we need your consolation during the time of benediction dear friends there is the mighty presence of our heavenly father please once again call upon his name with a deep love with a deep faith raise your hands the call in a mighty way in an open way hallelujah oh, hallelujah God. Sacrament most holy